Good morning, you guys, and welcome back to Bunnies at Home. Today, we are doing our morning routine. So normally I'm up a little bit earlier than this. I actually stayed at my boyfriend's last night, so I left there at about 7 and I was able to take Maverick out for a run. Now I'm back to check on the buns. Clearly today is going to be a deep cleaning day, so let's go ahead and get started. I always like to start the morning by opening up the blinds so that the buns have lots of light for a nice happy morning. So this is where I would normally brush my teeth, brush my hair, and get ready, but since I already did that, it is time to check on Moo and see how he's doing. I'm going to open the blinds and let some light in. And of course, I have to say hi to him and see what kind of mood he's in because sometimes he's really social and sometimes he does not want to be touched. So here is the mess that we're dealing with today. It's been about five days since we did like a really good clean sweep i usually do kind of like a daily clean sweep but um yeah this is about five days in so it is time so i always start by collecting his food and water dishes and i'm gonna go ahead and get these washed first um, the bunnies do have their own sponge because i don't like to use anything other than the gentle dish soap on their stuff and sometimes I use other cleaning products on other sponges so I just want to make sure that they have their own specific sponge and I just wash their dishes in hot water and then I'm just drying off the dishes with paper towels then I just refill the bowl with cold water and I set his food dishes aside while I clean Time to start cleaning. I always take out my Bissell pet vacuum and the broom to get started. And of course, we have to open up Moo's pen so he can come out while I'm cleaning. So first things first, I have to clear out all of his furniture. Now it is time to go in with the broom and I'm just going to sweep all of this mess. And unfortunately, I just realized that I had run out of litter, so I won't be cleaning the litter boxes in this video, but typically that is what I would do, and I'm just going to go ahead and change their litter boxes out this evening. So I will normally sweep any leftover hay and poops into the clean litter box. That way, you know, there's still some of their scent in there, and any of the hay that's on the ground is most likely clean anyway, so we don't want to waste that by throwing it out. So typically, I would clean out the litter box first and then sweep any excess hay and poops back into the clean litter box. And this can also help with litter training whenever you clean out their litter box. If you have a baby bunny, it can kind of just help them to associate the litter box with the poops and when you clean it out sometimes that can reset that in their brains so just sweeping any excess back into the clean litter box can also help improve litter box skills so once i've gotten up all of the big stuff it's time to go in with the vacuum hose and get all of the smaller stuff kind of getting into those little nooks and crannies by the door and then by the baby gate that um, separates the two buns because stuff kind of conglomerates in those little crevices so I just have to make sure all of that is cleared away and now it's time to clean off his baby bed and get that all ready I usually wash the sheets every other week or so and of course, Moo is always very excited when I put his pillows back on his bed and he likes to check it out and make sure everything is to his liking. And this is kind of the fun part where I get to rearrange his pen a little bit um, and just put his toys out and about. And I also like to vacuum off his castle at this point. I'll usually put a toy on his bed and then of course put his tunnel back, which I'm pretty sure is his favorite part. And now it's time for breakfast, so I'll give him his fresh water and he gets an eighth of a cup of pellets. And now we're gonna let Moo enjoy his breakfast and his morning and we're gonna go check on Teddy. Not empty-handed though, we are going to bring Teddy his breakfast as well. 
he gets a fourth of a cup of adult pellets and he likes to take those in his foraging mat. He gets very excited for breakfast time. And now it's time to perform my bunny servant duties. Um, just cleaning up after Teddy. He's a little messy, he likes to kick his hay out. So we are going to go ahead and take the vacuum and get the carpet all cleaned up. Um, otherwise, he's really great with his litter box skills, but we're just going to vacuum that up and get everything clean. And of course, we don't want the vacuum flinging poops everywhere, so we're going to use the hose to clean up right around his litter box area. And I just changed his water out yesterday, but we're going to clean out the dish since he managed to kick a poop into it. So I will just dump that out and clean his dish, and then we're just going to put his water feeder back together. And then, of course, every morning I like to spend some quality time with him, especially because I spend a lot of time out in the living room during the day because I'm working. So we just hang out together for a little bit, and I try to disguise some of my pets um, for grooming because if he doesn't notice that I'm doing it, he'll kind of let me. Um, so you'll see me here kind of getting some of those loose tufts out, um, and he seems to be enjoying it. So... Uh, his tolerance doesn't last forever though and um, I don't want to push it so we'll get out what we can but it's just kind of a good bonding moment for us and then I always like to look at how disgusting and how much stuff we picked up with the vacuum and here's Teddy's nice clean room and of course to keep my vacuum running long and strong I always clean it after every single cleaning so now that the rabbits are all done it's time to give Mav his breakfast as well Mav currently gets a fish oil supplement because he is a blue Doberman, so he naturally has a little bit of dry skin. So this just helps with that. This is human grade. His vet actually suggested that we get him the human grade, and it's actually a little bit cheaper than getting like a dog version of like omega-3s. Mav is also on antibiotics right now for a skin infection, of course. He loves to get his in a cheese ball, so that's what we're doing. And we're just gonna let Mav enjoy his breakfast. And lastly, I just turn up the air purifier because I put it on one at night so everybody can sleep. But I will turn it up to three out here in the living room and I also have one in my room. If you don't have an air purifier already, you should definitely get one because having rabbits creates lots of dust because of the hay, litter, and they have dense fur, which sheds often. So if you don't have one, you should definitely pick one up to protect yourself and your rabbit. And that is pretty much it for my morning routine. So hopefully this gave you a realistic idea of what it looks like to have rabbits and this is just the morning stuff. So it's definitely a lot of work, but very rewarding. And now Moo is out and about hopping around like he does for most of the day. But yeah, thank you for joining us for our morning. I'm going to make some coffee and get started on work. Feel free to let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. And also feel free to leave suggestions for future videos in the comments because I always like to read those. Thank you guys so much for joining us today and we will see you next time. Bye.